mafias, the cabal, the cartel, that is used to intimidating, robbing this country, they are yet again plotting a move to kill me. Evelyn Anite Kajik, who is popularly known as Evelyn Anite, is a Ugandan female politician and journalist who is actively involved in the Ugandan politics and also she is a member of the National Resistance Movement Party, which is commonly known as NRM Party. Anite is currently the State Minister of Finance for Investment and Privatization in the Cabinet of Uganda. Evelyn Anite was born on 11th November 1984 in a village called Adako village in the northern western part of Uganda, which is commonly known as Western Region, in a district called Koboko District. Anite is a daughter of Stephen Dravu, a civil servant, and Sarah Okaru Dravu, a businesswoman in Koboko District in West Nile sub-region. Evelyn Anite studied at Arua Hill Primary School for her primary school education, which is found in Arua District before joining secondary school. After completing her primary school education, she joined St. Mary Ediofe Girls Secondary School for her ordinary level of education. She later attended Muni Girls Secondary School for her advanced level of education. After A level, she joined Uganda Christian University where she pursued a Bachelor of Arts degree in Mass Communication which she obtained in the year 2008. After completing her high school education in 2005, Evelyn Anita got a job as a radio presenter at a radio station called Nile FM that is found in Arua district. In 2006, she got a job with Uganda Broadcasting Corporation, commonly known as UBC, as a radio presenter located in Kampala district, the capital city of Uganda. In 2008, she joined Uganda Media Center where she started working as a public affairs assistant for international relations. In 2011, Evelyn Anite decided to venture into Ugandan politics by openly contesting for the parliamentary seat of the youth representative for northern part of Uganda, a seat she won by beating nine other candidates. In March 2015, Evelyn Anite was appointed as the State Minister for Youth and Children, a position which was previously held by Honorable Chibule Ronald. In June 2016, Evelyn Anite was appointed the State Minister for Investment and Privatization. As a result of her underlying role for the National Resistance Movement Party, Evelyn Anite has been involved in several controversial issues that have rubbed many people in Uganda the wrong way. Me, I love my husband called Alan Kajik. I love him so much. I am hearing that they are going to be giving me other people's husbands. They are planning to give these small, small boys in town, saying that now they are my husbands. My husband is the most handsome. I chose him carefully. <laughs> and I am not about to leave him. I don't go opening my skirt far like the, some of them do. In February 2014, Evelyn Anite moved a motion during the NRM caucus where she was endorsing President Yuri Museveni as the sole candidate for the presidential elections of 2016. In the process, Anite had to kneel down on her knees and perform some human worship as she put in place her request and therefore secured a 35-year rule for the current president of Uganda. In September 2017, Evelyn Anite became a very popular person when she said that they had the support of the army during a heated debate about the age limit removal. I am diligent and I love my husband. He's a, the most handsome man, the most loving, the most caring. As you know, his chest, it's a comfort for me. What do I be looking for? On those other, they should just go to hang. On that one, I want to ashamed them that they will not catch me there. But if they want to buy red paper, I'm very happy if so far you refuse to run that rubbish of theirs. Because they are taking nude pictures. The only nude picture I have is with my husband. And I'm entitled to have nude pictures with him. <laughs> Anite is married to Alan Kajik, who was appointed as a resident district commissioner, commonly known as RDC by the Ugandan president, Yoweri Museveni. A few days ago, State Minister for Privatization Evelyn Anite also revealed how mafias are buying for her blood over her involvement to rescue ailing Uganda Telecom Limited. 
Anite has been in open battle with UTL administrator Bemanya Twebaze after the former ordered for an audit in the activities of UTL to the dismay of the latter. Despite objections from the Deputy Attorney General Rukutana Mwesigwa, President Yuri Museven recently gave Anite a green light to constitute an audit committee to audit UTL that is currently under receivership as the process to find an investor to recapitalize Uganda's telecom remains hanging in balance. While addressing a press conference at the Ministry of Finance, Anita revealed how mafias are threatening to kill her for exposing alleged fraud at UTL. Anita paraded ESO report exposing the rot at UTL and also disclosed three private bank accounts where money from liquidated companies is stuffed without any accountability. These of the people, the mafias, the cabal, the cartel, that is used to intimidating, robbing this country, they yet again plotting a move to kill me. They've been having meetings in various offices, in Kampala Club, in the offices of uh, Uganda Registration Service Bureau, And they've recruited a group of young people and they're tapping my phone all the time. They have gone to MTN and got some printouts of my communications and what I do. They're trailing me. I have already alerted the police. But I want to tell you that if I die, do not look. Do not even ask that there must be a postmortem done because you already know the killers. Anita said that she is currently considering making a statement at police on the live threats she is receiving, which include stopping of her phone calls. In July, a whistleblower petitioned the IGG alleging that money from the sales of assets of liquidated companies is banked in private accounts with unchecked withdrawals. On some of the accounts, Big amounts of money have been withdrawn without a trace and large amounts of money also were fixed and interest and cannot be traced. Just like Evelyn Anite, there are a number of other key government officials who have been gunned down by the mafias after they sent the same or similar death threats. One of them is Assistant Inspector General of Police Afande Andrew Felix Kawesi who was gunned down in 2017. Another was Assistant Superintendent of Police Muhammad Chirumira and was gunned down in 2018 after numerous reports of having received death threats. Another is slain or honorable Ibrahim Abiriga of Arua District who was gunned down in 2018. Despite the fact that death by gun has reduced for key officials in government, a number of other key officials have continued to report death threats from these mafias. Hope you continue subscribing to my YouTube channel for more news and updates. Me, I have my husband called Alan Kajik. I love him so much. I am hearing that they are going to be giving me other people's husbands. They are planning to give these small, small boys in town, saying that now they are my husbands. My husband is the most handsome. I chose him carefully. These <laughs> of the people, the mafias, the cabal, the cartel that is used to intimidating, robbing this country, they yet again plotting a move 